Just got my Booyah XES DIY bundles in. I'm getting ready to paint. You're going to hear a lot about overspray. I'm going to show you how to use overspray to your advantage. This is really important when you're painting, but even more important when you're using stencils. So let's get after it. So here, so I, I already started these baits. I got them partially underway. What I did was the whole bait I painted white, then I painted it white pearl. Then it came time to add the belly color and the belly color is yellow pearl. I held the bait this way and I sprayed the yellow on like this so my overspray would travel up and over part of the side. That's called overspraying up. So I hold the belly, I spray the yellow pearl down, it oversprays up the side. When I did the back color, which is uh, moss green, I did the same thing. I held the bait like this, I sprayed the moss green this way so my overspray would go down the side. Now, what, this is important because what that does is it gives me a nice smooth transition in the bait. I don't have a hard line. It's a very smooth, soft blend, okay? I added some red dots and I added a red chin. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my stencils. The overspray is important because when I do my stencils, I'm going to want to overspray the red color. I'm going to use red and I'm going to use sepia. So I'm going to overspray my red color so it oversprays up and then I'll take my sepia so it sprays down. So I'll get a very smooth transition in my pattern. Here, let me show you. Okay, so now I'm going to do my, my shoulder pattern, which is the same type of pattern. It's, it's called blotchy but it's a little bit bigger than the one I sprayed the red on. And now, I'm because I'm gonna want my overspray to go down, I'm gonna actually set the bait up into, the, into my vise and tip it, instead of tipping it back like we did for the red, I'm gonna tip it down. So my overspray will go down the side of the bait. And I'm gonna do the same thing, I'm gonna spray down. So my overspray goes down the bait. I'll turn it around. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. So the overspray goes down the bait. Now I'll tell you what I'm going to do because I want to get some depth out of this. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to actually touch up the back a little bit with the same color sepia and I'm going to let my overspray run over the shoulders a, a tiny bit over the shoulders. You see how I'm not afraid to let it spray out of that gun and go down the sides a little bit so I can get a nice tone. And then the other thing I want to do is I want to touch up the eye sockets and then touch up some of the gill plates. Now notice when I do the eye sockets and the gill plates, I'm doing it this way so my overspray goes over the gill plate. Again, overspray. There you go. And now you can see that we have a nice smooth transition in color. I'm starting to build my depth on the eye sockets and the gill plates. And this bait is getting ready to be finished. And then what I did was I sprayed the gill plate white and then put the black over the white so I got a fine white line under it. Added some black on the eye sockets again, let it overspray out a little bit, added a little bit on the gill plate, let it overspray out, put a little bit on the back, and I gradiated, I kept the black pretty much on the back and just gradiated it out so it, it faded right into the sepia color on the back of the bait. That's exactly what the finished pumpkin seed bluegill looks like. So now you know a couple of quick little painting tips. Hopefully this makes your life a little easier when you're painting your baits.